Hi all, I am your child's teacher, Ms. Schleisman. I'm going to be going over some of the information that was sent home to you in a packet for conferences this trimester. The first sheet has my comments on academics and behavior. Here I'm just filling you in on some observations that I've made in these two areas. I have also indicated with an asterisk in this area if I would like to have a conference with you to discuss some of these observations in more detail. If I have not requested a, con requested a conference, you are still more than welcome to email me and request one. These will be held virtually this year due to COVID. The next page says kindergarten assessment scores, and it looks like this. Here we have filled in the different literacy assessment scores. You will notice a section that says fast data. The FAST assessment is administered uh, to students so that we can see where your child is at compared to the benchmark. The benchmark is the score that we expect your child to be at by this year, uh, by this time of year. This just gives us an idea of how a student is doing and a goal to work towards. This fall, we assessed on letter names and letter sounds. During these assessments, students were given directions then given a sheet of paper with letters in random order. The student has 60 seconds to accurately name as many letter names or sounds, depending on the assessment. The benchmark for letter names is 14, and for letter sounds, it is three. Again, these are just a goal to work towards. If your child is below the benchmark, there's no need to panic. We're working in class on these things, so this score should improve by the winter trimester. There's also a section below that says other assessment data. Uh, we have put in the scores of the assessments that we have administered in the classroom here. The uppercase and lowercase naming assessment was not timed. There was a sheet of paper that looks like this. On yours, you have a copy of your students. However, it's been shrunk down to scale to fit in your packet better. This is just an example. Um, and this is where the students were to name uh, this, the name and the sound of each letter of the alphabet. Um, if the letter has been crossed off, that means your child was able to identify it. Here they're doing the uppercase names. Below they're doing the uppercase or the lowercase names. And then this last box is the letter sounds. So again, if there is a check, that means that your child was able to identify that letter or that sound. Since we are just starting word wall words this week, there is a score that is not um, applicable for the word wall words. We will be going on those later and you will see a score as your student keeps working. I assess on those typically at least once a week. Below that, it says blending and segmenting. This is a phonemic awareness assessment that we administered. Blending is when I say each sound in a word and the child is to tell me what the word is. So I would say k at, and the child has to be able to tell me that the word is cat. Segmenting is the opposite, where I give the child the whole word and they are to break apart each sound. So if I said cat, they would say k at. This is what we are working on in phonics, and it is just a baseline assessment. So the score should significantly increase by next trimester through the work that we do with our phonics in class. Finally, at the bottom, it says benchmark reading level. This is not applicable right now as we are just starting our reading guided reading program this week. Most of the students will be starting at pre-A or level A. Next in your packet is the letter name and sound recognition assessment. Um, yours again is cut to scale, so you can actually look at the letters that your child has mastered and may have yet to master. And after that is the number identification assessment. Crossed off are the numbers that your child was able to accurately identify. We have only been working on numbers one through 10 in math so far. We will eventually be working with T numbers and so on. By the end of the year, we expect students to be able to write numbers 1 through 20 and count accurately to 100. Finally, the last page is a resource for you, the ideas of things that you can be working on at home to supplement what your child is doing in school. As always, 
fe feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for all that you do as parents, and I look forward to seeing growth in all my students as we progress through the year. God bless.